continue with some rain and, and I Let's be honest, we needed some rain. We need some timely rain across Central Texas, and we're getting it right now. Good area of rain now moving out of Bell County and Coriel County into McLennan County. The Waco area is getting drenched again this afternoon as they die in the early morning hours. The biggest lion's share of the rain is now moved off east of I-35 into deep east Texas and moving into northeast Texas, the Arklatex area. Still got an area of showers and thunderstorms across northern uh, Bosque County, making its way up towards Stephenville or from Stephenville on back up towards Weatherford and uh, Mineral Wells in that area and eventually moving into the Dallas Fort Worth area where they've been getting a lot of rain uh, over the last two days. Several waves of moisture making their way through the Waco area. One passing over Highway 6 now, the other is moving across the west part of town up towards Elmont. Be mindful if you're going to be on I-35 heading north, you're going to run into some very wet conditions out of Waco. So be mindful, allow yourself a little extra time because the rain's going to be coming down pretty heavy at times. Here's the rainfall. This does not include what has just happened over the last hour, but that's three inches of rain in, uh, since midnight, actually since one o'clock in the morning. 73, the low temperature, 91 the afternoon high, well below normal for this time of the year. No pollen count because of the rains. It kind of compromises the uh, the measurements. 79 degrees, cloudy at the airport, 88% relative humidity or winds are calm. The forecast for tonight keeps rain in the picture for us for another couple of hours. I think by 9, 10 o'clock or so, we can wave by to the rain, but we'll go 50% chances of rain right now. Middle 70s for the overnight lows, and that could be as early as 11 or 12 o'clock tonight. I think by morning, we may actually warm up a little bit. 75, first thing in the morning, 92 for an afternoon high. Maybe a 20% chance of a sprinkler or two first thing in the morning. Then clearing skies, lots of sunshine, 10 to 15 and gustier winds. It's going to be breezy for several days. Into the weekend, that south wind is going to allow temperatures to start warming back up. We're going to be in the mid to upper 90s by Sunday afternoon and likely flirting with 100 degrees by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So summertime heat is not over with yet. We got sports straight ahead. Stay with us.